Systems. Uh, on behalf of uh, hospitals, I have got uh, the great pleasure to invite all the dignitaries for this uh, wonderful session on versatility of uh, common for Indian cuisine. Uh, I can see a lot of my friends also have registered, and it's it's nice that uh, you know to be part of this evening. Uh, let me start with the introduction of few of the uh, the panelists. Not few, all of them. One by one, I'll go to the, the panelists. Uh, to start with, uh, Mr. Chef Muthu Swami. Uh, he is a chef with 20 years of experience in menu development, food preparation, culinary staff management. He has worked in several leading organizations in India and abroad. One of the highlights of his career is he stood first in hotel law. A very, I learned today only that you know there is something called hotel law. Uh, a, a program run by Asia, Asian American Hotel Association. Presently, he is the assistant professor in MGR Education Research Institute and serves his passion by developing new products in millets. He also, also has an experience in being the chef for rational uh, ovens and is holding demonstration during reputed exhibition at AHAR. Ame Marathe, a very dear friend of mine, hailing from the Biryani city of Hyderabad, uh, holds several credits to his short career. He has been nominated as the Global Icon Fellow of IIHM. He has also won the uh, Best Chef India 2020 during the Asia Food Forum. He is also the founding member of Telangana Chefs Association and holds the position of Vice President. Presently, he runs his own company, Ame Marate Consulting, offering services for designing of kitchen and restaurant layouts. Chef Bala, again a very dear friend, uh, been to Mette several times, we've been on long joints with him, a uh, very interesting person. And Chef Bala runs a firm called Culinary Arcs. Culinary Arcs for the last 25 years, supporting entrepreneurs to launch small and large scale kitchens. He has completed more than 200 food industry based projects, Pan India. He is the recipient of Star Chef Award 2019 given by IFCA. He is also the treasurer for Society of Indian Bakers, Southern Chapter. Chef Vikram Udegiri. Chef Vikram Udegiri runs a leading kitchen facility management firm under the name of Food Sense Global for the last decade. He is known for his thorough detailing in the kitchen plans and encompassing all the kitchen equipment layout MAP includes for included for hotels, restaurants, hospitals, and industrial establishments. Not satisfied with his achievements in the consultancy area, he is also the co-founder for uh, artistic produce as agripreneur, delivering microgreens to hotels and restaurants with social objective to empower women and youth of Karnataka. Last but not the least, our, our dear Vinod Bhatti, Chef Vinod Bhatti. 
somehow when i look at him i always remember of shankar shankar shambhu the pleasant face you know he always <laughs> so cool and calm you you are immediately at peace when you are talking to him or meeting him uh, chef vinod bhati currently associated with ikea private limited as a food range and supply leader responsible for planning development of ikea food range in india started his career at taj group of hotels new delhi he was he, he has won many awards during the tenure in taj group over the years he has worked with various organizations of repute including his last assignment at american embassy in delhi where he was working the capacity of executive chef for delhi and mumbai operations he was awarded the prestigious silver silver hat award during chef's award 2020 event he is also instrumental in various culinary events to promote the culinary profession he is also on the governing body of pioneer chef association indian culinary forum which is working towards betterment of indian cuisine and culinary professions including students and young food enthusiasts he is active member of ifca and also member of wax world association of chef societies ladies and gentlemen introducing to you uh, uh, incidentally chef vinod bhati is our leader today he will be moderating the session and i am looking forward to a very very exciting session with all of you thank you so much over to chef vinod bhati namaskar ji namaskar. i think it's pleasure to be on this prestigious platform with all the dignitaries and the reputed chefs in their own fields and uh, uh, prabhu ji is kind enough to say lovely words for all of us and he himself has been in the industry and uh, supporting the industry with all his creations and innovation in terms of uh, different kitchen equipments so thank you prabhu sir thank you and uh, let's uh, begin the show and today uh, we'll be talking about the combi ovens and what is a combi oven uh, and what is the impact of combi ovens on the indian regional food so to have some brief idea on that i'll invite uh, chef vikram udaygiri to throw some light on the combi ovens what does it mean for a common man because the people those who are already in the hospitality industry so they know what the combi oven is what the equipment is what are the strength and weakness of the ovens but today let's start with the basics of combi oven so may i invite uh, Chef Vikram Udaygiri, Chef Vikram, Chef Vinod. First of all, thank you very much for those kind words. And um, yes, absolutely, uh, a combination oven is extremely versatile. Um, it is like we all say, uh, a chef's best friend. So uh, let's quickly go through about uh, you know six to seven minutes of. trying to understand for those who don't what really a combination oven is what its strengths are and what it can do because really talk about why a combination oven is a chef's best friend uh, right from smart cooking to helping to cook different sorts of foods at the same time at different levels uh, these are some advantages reduce time in cooking so closed system of cooking within a combination oven and the combination of steam and convection heat moisture and dry heat really helps to benefit in a large way combination ovens help us to steam foods at multiple layers thus helping us generate a lot of cooked food ready to be served in extremely limited real estate space within the oven some advantages of a combi oven could be that you don't need to keep sending your dishes to the pot wash every single time combi ovens today are very very well equipped they are easy to clean they have maintenance cycles that can be automated they have automatic detergent dispensers that can actually at the press of a button clean the entire machine 
after every cycle or as defined by us combination ovens were actually you know introduced in european countries and designed for their use and purposes but uh, i think indian cuisine and regional indian cuisines uh, really function very very well especially because we do a lot of slow pot cooking we do a lot of steaming stewing the traditional method of dum cookery is something that a combination oven can actually do without any skill sets these are the real advantages uh, a combi oven at a banquet function could replace a tandoor uh, you know which probably is extremely difficult to transport has a lot of fly ash issues uh, uh it's a debate it's a debate uh, that we can take up probably during the discussion as to you know would the outcome be the same but you know these are really the advantages of having machines like this and at blind tastings they have passed the test they have passed the exam these machines perform wonderfully you get combination ovens which are even portable these days so if you are going for an outdoor catering you don't need to carry equipment that weigh tons tons of kilos all you need to do is probably carry a set of portable combi ovens connect them and use them for whatever preparation you want it is not as labor intensive it adapts to most traditional indian cooking methodologies whether it be dum cooking whether it be stewing whether it be boiling whether it be steaming whether it be cooking produce overnight whether it may be even programmed cooking traditional methods of indian cooking require a specific equipment for every dish for example if uh, you know you're preparing a dal makhani you probably require a lagan you, and you know you probably require to cook it over charcoal overnight on dam very slowly but these techniques have been replaced by combi ovens where you use gn pans or food pans and perform the same act with very minimal skill sets so what how does a combi oven really make indian traditional cooking versatile whether it be be your pre preparation work you can use the combination oven for multiple tasks which basically means in today's world of where real estate really occupies the highest cost kitchens cannot afford to be large skilled chefs come at a very very high cost we need to make this or we need to make traditional cooking process dependent and less people dependent or even people independent i'm not saying make it uh, i'm not i mean i'm a chef i'm not saying get rid of me but what i'm saying is let's use our strengths and what technology has to present today for the best in regional indian cuisine so whether it be steaming boiling braising stewing roasting baking or grilling a combi oven can do all of this in just one machine and at the same time with different processes of course gravy cooking slow cooking adjusting steam adjusting dry heat adjusting temperature and time all of this can be controlled to precision now this is where skill sets come to play a skilled chef will need to concentrate in front of his burner in front of the charcoal range in front of a traditional brat pan and keep stirring from time to time to ensure that his product is cooking evenly but mostly in a combiot combination oven all of this can be programmed right by controlling temperature time moisture humidity and so on so forth that combi oven can even hold the food at temperature for whatever time you have prescribed it to as per a recipe 
the other advantage of a combination oven is really volumetric cooking now if we have to really cook hundreds of kgs of food in one particular pan the process of blending it mixing it in terms of a biryani for example taking it off the dam ensuring that there's enough and even amount of masala rice meat ratio all of this can be controlled in a combination oven because you are going to be using food pans or gn pans that will have limited amount of the prescribed recipe and in trays which are easy to manipulate easy to carry and easy to serve in short that one equipment has multiple applications you can cook multiple products together and save time energy skill sets and most importantly remain convenient and user friendly so in my experience as a chef over the past one and a half decades i have been using in fact i was first introduced to a combination oven i think about 23 years ago in the north of france when i was working with a michelin star restaurant uh, and i was just you know i mean very naive just in in culinary school still and so on so forth and i was quite awed by that machine um and very soon we saw those machines actually being replaced uh, you know in hotels here in restaurants today whether it be a traditional restaurant that serves indian food or whether it be even what we call an idli vada restaurant in bangalore we are using combination ovens for these applications the idlis get steamed to precision sambar has excellent output as you can see butter chicken rice stews barbecues and needless to say dum biryanis without any handling the grain of every rice grain is preserved to its best quality the dum cooking is done to the most amount of precision and therefore i would say all of us must try to use a combination oven and adapt to future generations of technology being used in traditional indian methods of cookery gone are those days when we would pull out a piece of meat from the stew check them cut them taste them see if they are tender enough see if they have cooked in well no combination oven comes with probes as a basic component all you need to do is po- post that probe in you know when your chicken or your meat is achieved the right amount of temperature when it comes to grilling birds whether it be a peking duck whether it be a grilled chicken whether it be a roast combination ovens have some very very versatile options you can actually while roasting a chicken put the chicken on a combination and cook it so that it gets nice and tender inside towards the end of the cooking process put it on a mold where it gets nice crisp and tasty so basically the moisture is being taken away from the oven so you have tender juicy succulent meat and the crispiest of skins that one can imagine personally to share a few secrets with all of you i have a combination oven at home and life is very very easy so even from a domestic front i'm saying we don't use combine we don't use microwaves at home but when we have to heat up tw- uh, say eight nine dishes when we have guests i take all these eight nine dishes not even in food pans just in the same vessels that we are putting them in put them into steam at low temperature for 10 minutes and the food is beautifully reshaped so just imagine the same can happen with the combination oven even in restaurants reshaping making or bringing the food to right texture precision cooking using 
the right probes to assist us as against manually checking each and every time fixing recipes and making cooking of regional indian cuisines independent of people and dependent on process this is what will help us make each other great chefs this is what will help us all deliver consistent constant food to our clients what are the equipments in the kitchen that can replace a combination of this is open to debate my friends all of you can debate this with me i'm sure there'll be a few rockets being fired saying how can you write off the traditional tandoor etc etc but we are only complementing what we are saying with versatile technology that all of us must at some level adapt to so therefore the combination oven will actually replace steamers whether it be in traditional south indian cooking whether it be in any other form of i know of restaurants that sell idlis for 12 rupees that use combination ovens for steaming not just that in europe there was a restaurant uh, a south indian restaurant chain and they don't use provers and this south indian restaurant chain used combination oven not just to steam but also to shove in the idli batter into the oven and use it as a prover during winters so this is the versatility of these equipments and remember in europe or i mean anywhere in india as well today as business people are restauranters restaurant owners hoteliers are primarily looking at realization of revenue per square feet now combination ovens have all of this because you can uh, you can use multiple tasks such as steaming grilling tandoor uh, braising boiling etc in the combi oven so therefore let's remember some key points multitasking of cooking methodologies and real estate realization in the kitchen of revenue and also in tight spots today combination ovens have technology such as disappearing door etc where you don't really need to worry about how much passage space there is when you open the door because once you open the combi oven door you can slide it right through the gap multiple tray cooking helps to cook kebabs roast potatoes make broccoli tandoori broccoli tandoori chicken whatever you want uh very very easy to cook cooking in a combination oven versus traditional cooking one of the main points i would say today is yes we might come up with this debate saying capex versus opex what is my capital cost of the combination oven friends let us look at what is the long shot and that long shot is the operating cost the cost of operating a tandoor is extremely expensive the cost of operating an exhaust fan is as expensive or even more expensive than operating a hvac system in a in in an air conditioned restaurant so therefore cost economics will work either ways because energy consumed in operating cost is a cost that we have to live with but capital cost is something that we need to put in once in a lifetime and i've been using combination ovens in fact i still go back to that restaurant in france where i use a combination oven that i was talking to you about we used in 2001 in 2019 i did a food festival in the same restaurant and folks i used the exact same machine that was used in 2001 and that combination oven has been used from the late 80s in that restaurant so this is the life of a combination oven no replacing of the tandoor drum no need of skilled people to operate it etc etc of course standardization of recipes um, you know uh, and whatever is written here in these pointers you can quickly browse through those are the uh, other advantages um, or uh, you know comparisons between a combination oven and a traditional cooking methodology again folks i am not saying combi oven food is tastier or better than traditional foods i am saying they complement each other 
and that's the way forward that is the future combination ovens definitely are faster more versatile i can program them to do multiple tasks have multiple products at the same time to cook without the fear of burning anything safer from various aspects protecting food and protecting people i was talking to you about a feature called the disappearing door and it is mentioned here certain features like the disappearing door clears up more aisle space in the kitchen in tight kitchens especially probably in bombay and today in bangalore as well kitchen sizes are shrinking owners promoters of restaurants want more realization on square feet by having more number of tables and therefore all of us need to adapt to new technologies we need to adapt to new systems and a combination oven will complement traditional cooking in all of these factors of course multiple products can be cooked at the same time you can put timers you can cook uh, you can put a biryani in for dam program it in such a way that towards the end you have even uh, you know some starters being heated up so whole bunch of things uh, which help complement a chef yes like i mentioned hygiene and cleanliness a gn pan can easily go into a dishwasher or can be even washed very very easily efficiently there is no scarring scaling uh, staining of gn pans invariably if used correctly in a combination oven um, there is no carbon deposits on the vessels like how we use in lpg and burner servicing that all of us go through every month please service my burners every month please clean my exhaust hoods caustic soda hot water complete indian jugaad but with combi ovens the same indian cuisine can be cooked in a very very hygienic way chefs can maintain absolute cleanliness workflow have time to go and really enjoy their cup of coffee or tea whenever they want to in terms of savings we talked about it earlier we are talking about it now reduces kitchen space and operational costs saves in purchase of operating costs of burner tandoor steamer these are actually capital costs small capital costs but operating costs of a burner my god gas cost going up higher 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 every month charcoal cost through the roof forget about it traditional steamers highly risky reduces cost of training employees of course because we are deskilling it like i mentioned in the beginning we need to be process dependent and independent of people skills a combination oven can replace for you a bakery oven a conventional bakery oven i think we'll have this debates and discussions as the conversation goes on but folks overall in my opinion all of us need to adapt to various situations in life and with traditional indian cooking we need to adapt to all of this as well thank you very much and look forward to the remaining part of this session if you know again thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity to present this and look forward now to the rest of the um, rest of the the conversation thank you thank you shiv vikram i think it was a wonderful brief and uh, you touched up on all the points that a combi oven could offer and also we felt so hungry when you showed some beautiful pictures of the regional indian food so and the regional indian food can easily be made uh, in the combi oven and uh, today we have chef mahesh uh, chef uh, ame and chef bala and they have worked with these combi ovens for years and i believe indian cuisine is very versatile and uh, it has been uh, there has been changes in the last many decades and in india i believe the combi ovens are present for the last maybe two and half three decades the combi ovens have shown their presence in india and since then it has been growing and there has been lot of modifications that has happened the way of cooking adaptation to the indian regional cuisine so talking on that i would like to uh, ask chef ame he has been uh, uh, cooking different regional uh, indian food in large scale operations or even in the fine dining restaurants or in the qsrs 
So, uh, Chef Ame, what do you think about the combi ovens and their usage for the different formats of kitchen? Over to you, Chef Ame. Thank you, thank you, Chef. <clears throat> you know, then uh, I think Chef Uday covered everything in detail. Uh, personally, I've been using combis. I was introduced to combis in 2010 when I started working with the international chain in uh, in Pune, and since then it's been 12 years. I've I've been using combis, and like Chef Uday said, it's one brilliant machine which can do multiple things so i have been i have used this for american cooking i have used combis for indian cooking i have used combis for regional indian cooking and up till in my very last assignment of mine i used to using combis for a very large biryani chain in the country and where we had a multi city operation and i could control everything sitting in my office in hyderabad so i would know in which city which oven what is cooking how many cycles of that particular product is being made and is all seamless so one point i think which i just wanted to highlight with maybe chef vikram left is uh, most of these machines are also connected features so they have their own software and you can track everything sitting in your office so if anyone here who runs multi outlet operations you can track everything which is been cooked in these machines at different locations in real time you don't need to wait for a next day to get the report in real time you can track and my experience is been actually the product comes much much better in the combi compared to traditional cooking methods and like chef vikram said we we will all have a debate and we can have debate what is better and traditional for example maybe 50 years back a lot of food was cooked on coal and charcoal then came the era of lpgs you know that time people had a lot of resistance how things will move from wood and charcoal to lpg and now it's era of where it is moving from lpg to also these machines for example from a business point of view if you cook simple rice and this is pertaining to indian regional cuisine suppose if you're making a pulao and you do it on gas range the maximum yield one would get is 2 kilos when you cook 1 kg 1 kg of rice maximum you get is 2 2.2 but when you do the same thing in a combi the yield can go up to 3 to 3.5 kg and at the same time each grain of rice is cooked well you know you don't have to worry about the cooking you don't have to worry about the skillness of rice cooking so my experience has been tremendous as in i advocate use of uh, combi ones wherever i can uh, wonderful chef i mean i think uh... cooking regional indian food and as uh, we see the capacity of the combi ovens cooking multiple type of uh, uh, like different methods of cooking i can say so mostly in indian cooking it's primarily stewing steaming uh, grilling broiling poaching so all those can be clubbed into one single machine and uh from north to south east to west i believe all those foods can be easily cooked into a combi machine and at the same time uh if we have a chain restaurant so the same uh, recipe can be set in the oven which could be replicated across the globe not even the country across the globe and mm-hmm. as you rightly said it could be monitored from your desk in your office anywhere in the world absolutely absolutely wonderful wonderful chef now i'll come to chef bala for another question so chef bala what do you think you have been using combi ovens in your multiple operations and in your consultancies you have recommended uh, different uh, business owners to use combi ovens what do you think uh, the mindset of business owners are when it comes to the cost of the equipment or the efficiency or the outcome in terms of roi what is your take on that and how do you uh, convince the business owners to switch to combi ovens in place of traditional method of cooking yeah thank you thank you mr vinod uh, it was a wonderful uh, detail from um, uh, chef vikram as well uh, if a owner uh, would go through those details uh, definitely is going to buy one <laughs> that's what i <laughs> so should say uh the best part is that uh, the business owners uh, must understand uh, what the category of oven they should opt to because there is uh, in 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 broad spectrum we should see this uh, combi ovens in three categories one is the small segment ovens the mid segment ovens and the large segment ovens 
so when they choose the right oven for the right operation it is more easier for them to adapt maintain and uh, regain the roi over a period of time uh, rather than uh, choosing some random ovens recommended by some random people it is wiser that they should in detail uh, do some study what are the kind of uh, products they do the genre of uh, uh, foods they do the cuisines they do and what all the products that fits into their uh, uh, this combi oven from their menu and what all the other equipments they can reduce uh, in terms of productivity and in terms of maintenance all those th these aspects uh, when these business owners take into consideration it it is a combi oven is one of the uh, best option they can opt for at the same time of course uh, combi ovens have its own limitations that we will see down the line but on a broader spectrum when you see uh using uh, traditional cooking techniques traditional cooking equipments over the combi oven obviously a combi oven uh, plays a very very vital role and it is highly recommended and i see a lot of uh, business owners these days are going for combi oven after realizing the fact and they are even successful after the investment and they could uh, uh, get the variance in terms of their pnl when it comes to energy efficiency uh, maintenance uh, manpower Uh, all those aspects, when they consider, I think combi oven is one good option. They should definitely choose to. That's my recommendation. Thank you, Chef Bala, for the wonderful insights. So uh, I would like to say something on uh, the changing era in the last maybe three four decades. So as uh, Chef Ame also said and Chef Vikram said, so we can look thirty forty years back uh, and then we see everything was done. from the scratch we used to buy things everything like even the garam masala was to be grinded in the kitchen itself we don't even didn't even trusted other companies or other people making garam masala for us or maybe making a gravy for us or buying uh, something in a convenience uh, format was not present in last 30 40 years and we are changing the time is changing and uh, from hard work to smart work is one of the trending thing which is happening and in the last two decade it has uh, transformed a lot and in that uh, scenario so combi ovens i would say if there is a convenience product kind of a like a semi prepared or maybe uh, a partly prepared food which can be easily done in a combi oven so there are certain uh, things which chefs and the brigade used to do like cutting peeling chopping and all those things so if we just club the two convenience one is the equipment part which is the combi and also if we see the convenience uh, support that most of the kitchens have now outsourced their initial basic things that they get prepared and then if they use the combi oven so it gives wonderful results with minimum efforts proper hygiene proper a uh, consistent food across all the locations or the outlets which the brand owns so on those lines uh, do you think the convenience food and the combi oven is a good match or uh, uh, we can't say that combi oven will do everything as you rightly mentioned there are limitations also but at the same time the convenience food and the combi oven can marry well to bring out the best product what is your thought on that chef Uh, th this question is to me to me na to me right yes yes sir yes sir bala okay yeah actually uh, that's a wonderful uh, uh, question and uh, detail to discuss uh, when it comes to um, a combi oven it is also wiser sometimes when we are going for a combi it is also wiser we can even uh, plan a menu accordingly if at all we want to completely reduce a lot more equipment and if you are just going to depend on combi that is one way to think about when they are planning a qsr combi oven is one of the versatile equipment which is also highly dependable by the chefs at any given time because it's almost close to error free uh, so it is also a, it's it's wiser to combine convenience food along with uh, combi oven that would definitely give a uh, quick and uh, easy solution Uh, with less uh, manpower and even lesser space constraint, uh, more, all those a lot more factor can also be uh, resolved by a combi oven when it comes to a combination of uh, these kind of uh, systems in place. Right, sir. Thank you very much, chef. 
So now I'll come to Chef Mahesh Muthu Swami. Uh, he has been an educationist and also uh, teaching the basics to the students in the colleges. And then, uh, as we always say, if your basics are right, you can do wonders. So sure. in that era, so uh, to run the best of the equipment, you need to have the best of the knowledge. So we all know we all are chefs and we all are the creators of the dishes. So combi oven is a convenience in cooking method or processes and all those things. But at the same time, chef, we uh, need the right knowledge or the right marination of the product or the right ingredient to choose and to know the exact uh, outcome that we are looking from the oven. So the machine is good, very nice, but it has to be run by a chef. So uh, Chef Mahesh, what is your take on that about the skill set of chefs and using the right skill set with the combi ovens? Yeah, uh, very good evening to all. Uh, I had uh, seen Chef Vikram had spoken all the points about that, but still, as uh, uh, you know, Bhatia asked, See, basically, whenever we talk about combi oven, it's very simple as it. It's like combination of both uh, steam as well as dry heat. You know, you can uh, do uh, things with steaming. You can uh, do things with uh, dry heat as well as both combination. But for example, if as Chef uh, Vinod asked, the uh, basic, the new educational, you know, the, the guys who has joined the college recently, uh, we should uh, teach them the basic very, very well, you know, that. So people are not aware of the combi events, you know that. But whenever they go out in the, the market, they see the kitchen, it's very big. They see a lot of bigger equipments, bigger pants. They may think, you know, that they have to lift all those pants with often, you know that. So that is one of the reasons. But here, as uh, when you talk about the combi oven, we use only one one by one gastronomic GN pan. So which is very light in weight, you know, that not, not more than 950 gram per GN pan, you know that. So uh, as we talk about the combi oven, See, I had uh, done a training for a bakery, you know that. See, they are using a wood fire oven, but the people are very old. They were almost like 55 years. They keep on work. work. It, the, from wood, wood fire oven, we are, they had transferred to a combi oven. And it will be a really a very big challenge for everyone to, you know, like uh, to do the training process. But where, where in the combi oven, it is all pre-programmed, you know that. Either we can, if people are not aware to learn, uh, read the letters, at least we can show them images, you know, that which can be very easily to identify. That is one of the best uh, part over there. And uh, when we do the cooking part, after the, but it's, this works in two different ways. One is with the electric and the other one will be the gas, you know. That. But nowadays, the combi events are found in three types cities also. Not only in metros, you will find combi events in, in three types cities where they, go for the gas since they have some electric problem issues like you know that the initial for the uh, bare minimum unit the initial cap load will be like 14 kilowatts so it will be a very challenging for them so they go for the gas model and the operational cost will be bare less you know that see whenever they go for a gas per hour it may consume not more than 300 gram or when we talk about the electric it uh, consumes four to five units per hour and end of the day after doing all the demonstration or all the cooking, you know, that you, the chef feel really very tired of it. At the end of the day, it's easy for to clean on that. So we have a auto clean program, but the cleaning will be done, done very automatically. And just to learn or uh, talk about the cost, you know, the, the whatever I had saved or whatever I had consumed, that can be easily seen and monitored by the combi. You know, that end of the day, you will be able to uh, learn from there the, how much little of water we had used or how many units of electricity had can, uh, has been used or how many a kg of gas was consumed. You know, this calculation can, can be uh, seen every day, uh, you know, as Chef Vikram said. Yes, yes. Uh, Chef Mahesh, I think combi ovens are the intelligent ovens, we can say. And uh, you can uh, track the activity that goes through the combi ovens and uh, you have the traceability of the product. And as we mentioned, so even when we talk about the hygiene and food safety, so you can uh, track the temperature of the food that was served from that particular batch. So yes, all those things, I think the intelligence part also plays quite a vital role. Definitely. Uh, thank Definitely. you very much, Chef Mahesh. Uh, now I will like to ask just one question for Chef Ameh. So Chef Ameh, you have been working for this uh, big biryani brand and... Uh, 
I believe biryani is one thing which, uh, uh, like the final product that comes out to be three times more than the initial raw material that has been put in the oven. Correct. So uh, the maximum capacity of the ovens I see there are like from three trays or six trays, ten trays, even twenty trays. And for a biryani, I think it's voluminous product. Correct. So what were the good uh, part of combi ovens that help you? Uh, cooking thousands of kgs of biryani per day so uh, just to give you a very small statistical understanding one of our biggest outlet in hyderabad we used to process around 3 tons of chicken 1.5 ton of mutton and 3 tons of rice per day this is for biryani in just one single outlet one of the biggest outlet and the area which was used to make this biryani before used to be around 2,500 to 3,000 square feet, which after moving to combis came to just around 1,000 square feet. Uh, we bought around 20, no, 12 40 tray machines. Uh, I will not name the brand here. The kitchen temperatures went down tremendously, where the kitchen temperatures, because as we all know, biryani needs a lot of dumb. The temperatures in summers would go up to 46, 47. They came down to around 30 degrees, very comfortable. The kitchens became extremely spick and span because everything is happening under a controlled environment. And the major saving, I would say, is the reduction in carbon footprints because in traditional process, you use a huge lot of coal for giving the dump. That entirely was eliminated. While cooking rice, you use thousands of liters of water to first cook rice, parboil, and then layer in the biryani. With the use of combis, that process got completely eliminated. So we saved around 80% of water. And we bought a mix of electric and gas machines because higher capacity machines is better to operate on gas than electricity because of the uh, consumption aspect. Even gas consumption was saved around 40% comparing to the traditional uh, process. This is the benefit towards the operations. When it comes to the product, product was evenly cooked. We never had an issue of uh, meat not being cooked or rice be becoming hard at any time. The yield was much better than the traditional process and the product got extremely consistent. So I think... Exactly. Yeah, yeah that sure. was, it, it, it did took us time to move from a traditional process to a new process, but then once you do it, it's, it's just so easy. And the tracking is so easy. You can track each tray, like you said, batch timing, the holding timing. So it was just too good. As in... no, I think it's uh, the good insight that you gave changing uh, from the traditional cooking of biryanis. And uh, in Hyderabad, I see a lot of biryani joints cooking in the traditional dumb pots. Right. And right. there are like uh, long queues of pots under the wood fire and then the whole kitchen is black basically Absolutely. with the smoke. Absolutely. So I think that is one uh, good thing uh, to save the planet and be more sustainable. And at the same time, uh, Chef Amai, I think replicating the outlets capacity or the processes in multiple outlets, that would have become much easier for you uh, with the combi ovens. Absolutely. So once we set the recipe in the combi at the head office, the only thing we needed to do is have a LAN connection or a Wi-Fi connection at all the outlets across the city and just feed in the recipe. The, the team only has to press a button where it says X biryani or Y biryani or Z biryani. Just need to put the GN pan inside and then just do nothing till the food is ready. <laughs> the, the, the oven will call you, okay, take me yeah. out. <laughs> once, once it is ready, the oven says, come, take me. <laughs> come, take me out. Uh, so I'll just take a quick uh, wrap up uh, with all the panelists. So Chef Bala, as uh, Chef Ahmed told, there's a lot of uh, economics uh, around the uh, chick converting from the traditional method to the combi ovens. So what is your net take on the economy, on uh, the cost factor of the ovens? And uh, uh, as uh, I think Chef Vikram already mentioned, the longevity of the life of an oven, it's more than 20 years plus. So, uh, it's, is it a huge cost in the beginning and then it, the operational cost reduces and end of the day you are the winner. So, what is your take on that, Chef Bala? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, whenever uh, 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 a 
a business owner uh, plans his own uh, outlet of course uh, it has to be well planned with the capex for every segment of his project uh, starting from the kitchen to the restaurant or if it is a bakery uh, the production area to the outlet and things like that so whenever uh, a need is there let's say a combi oven is going to be used for more than few purpose or it is going to solve a huge purpose there is nothing wrong in investing on it because they they will by default calculate an roi there are two people who will be buying a combi oven one is definitely the newcomers who is starting the business or the other uh, business owner who already know their mathematics they already know how much rice goes they already know how much biryani goes or how much roast chicken goes in their outlet for them it is way too easy and there is no effort for them or a uh, thinking twice on investing on a combi oven naturally say for instance a uh, 30 minutes or 35 minutes a bird is getting cooked uh, but in a combi it is just cooking under 15 minutes obviously they choose a combi oven when it come when they have a need to roast so many chickens uh, obviously the cost factor goes down by 50% in terms of fuel that is one way to think about so for the existing business owners it is way too easy for newcomers who are going to invest on a combi all they need to do is a hire a proper chef and forecast their business accordingly they need to choose the right model of combi so if say for instance if it is just a new startup they can at least invest on a small four tray uh, uh, combi oven or if they are okay to invest on a, a six tray or a 10 tray because there is so many brands these days each and every country in europe has launched its own premier uh, brands of uh, combi oven so they can opt for any such things even indian brands is having its own combi ovens so they can choose a right combi oven according to their shoulder strength here we are not recommending any combi oven but we are just recommending combi oven no brands specified here so they can obviously choose anything from those so uh, so uh, chef exactly right please you said that we are not uh, talking about a brand we are talking about a equipment so it's up to the buyer to choose the brand so it's like exactly. buying a car we are talking about a car and we are not talking about the brand absolutely so uh, i think we have a lot of uh, participants in the session and uh, there is one question for chef vikram and i think uh, uh, chef mahesh can answer that uh, so it is about the hyderabadi biryani which requires little bit of uh, dry spices or little on a dry side and so is there a possibility to um, control the moisture in the biryani yes of course we can do that see generally uh, whenever we talk about the biryani we just steam the biryani we cook the biryani and at the end of the session maybe we can uh, add like 3 uh, to 5 minutes in dry heat so you'll be getting the biryani drier on top side it's not the issue at all we can uh, uh, do a pre program of that and we can save it it's not a issue at all wonderful so it's possible uh, uh so now i think we have gone through different aspects of combi ovens in terms of uh, practicalities the volumes usage in different uh, size of kitchens different cuisines and uh, other factors like sustainability hygiene food safety consistency all those things so i think let's uh, let our participants or the viewers ask the questions if they have some so they can put on the chat box my question is about the humidity now i have been seeing a lot of lot of claims now what i want to know is suppose for example we are cooking uh, at 50% humidity for, for a 40 minutes program 40 minutes cooking cycle does it mean that you are adding humidity for the 20 minutes out of the 40 minutes or you are maintaining a 50% humidity by volume in the cooking chamber that is part 1 of the question part 2 if it is you are maintaining it by the volume 50% of the cooking chamber volume you are maintaining the humidity so then if you are cooking chicken and the chicken will release its own humidity the humidity will increase so therein what from what i understand or what i have understood so far is this that you will reduce that humidity basically but how is that cycle happening that you reduce the humidity then does it go down to zero drastically because you are opening some wall to inlet the air will it go down to zero then you will again add 50% more humidity 
again the chicken will release the humidity again you will remove that again it will go to zero again you will add how is that cycle happening because many claims were many people you know in the market so i'll take your question uh, uh, mr gautam yeah. it depends on the product you're cooking and it depends on the program you're setting all right now everything you cook might release uh, you know moisture or it might just become more drier now depends if you if you cooking roast chicken you don't need lot of humidity right so you set humidity levels as per roast chicken but suppose you are making a chicken tikka which needs to be more juicier than the roast chicken because in roast chicken the skin has to become crispy but in chicken tikka the meat has to become more juicy so you adjust the humidity in the combi program the way you need rest the machine does it on your own so you don't need to be worried about whether it is going to zero or whether it is going to be 50 or 20 you need to set you need to do trials on your own product come out with what you want from your product and then set the program accordingly the rest the machine does it on own its own now see, see what is confusing uh, chef is this that some brands they claim that they can change humidity by 1% mm-hmm. some claim they can change from 25% or 50% or 75 or 100% some brands claim they do it 10% 20% 30% 40% you see if you take so up i tell you of... it's very simple see it's combination of two basic technologies right you have steaming and you have convection when you don't want any humidity you basically switch off the steaming method you just use the convection so and that can be programmed from 1% to 100% if i'm not wrong so whether you do a complete convection you can just do complete steaming combination combi basically means combination of these two where you have dry heat and humid heat both together doing the cooking and all that can be adjusted and all current machines with whatever brands are available i believe all, they all have some capacity to adjust all that what you're looking for uh, may i just add something to what chef ame said Yes, so uh, mr gautam what uh, is uh, there is for example if the chicken is cooked for maybe half an hour 30 minutes yeah. so the humidity can be controlled at any point of time for example you can put humidity for 25 minutes and next 5 minutes it would be dry heat so okay. it could be controlled at any point of time and it could be released at any point of time for okay. example initially like uh, you start with the uh, steaming and uh, combi part and then maybe in between you want a dry heat and at the end you want again some moisture so during the 30 minutes you can set your program in such a way that whenever you want a uh, moisture to be there in the chamber it would be wherever you want that it shouldn't be so we can just switch on switch off the uh, part which uh, imparts the moisture so it's up to us depending on how we want the product do we want a crispy product at the end so then in the last 5 minutes or 10 minutes so we have to do certain trials so that how the product outcome has to be so accordingly we can manage the moisture content during the cooking process well because i what i learned was that only the addition of the humidity is in your control when you are when you set 50% 25% 30% you are adding that much humidity at the uh, in the cooking process you are adding it and after that uh, people are just letting out the humidity and i adding again this is what i have figured ultimately because nobody i mean the manufacturers are making so much claims it becomes pretty confusing unless unless you have a proper trials and testing uh, with the manufacturers and right. uh, till the time you are not convinced i should one should not take a decision unless the person is convinced with all the prerequisites and unless getting all the answers meko basically i wanted to know when you can diff- in different gn pans in a combi oven each requiring a different kind of humidity and temperature how do you is it possible to at one time to make all different dishes in one at one time yes it Say, is possible in different, in different trays in different trays different trays but then of... so when you are cooking the the steam steaming operation which is happening or dry heat or combination it is happening in the whole cabinet so it is it is impacting all the six trays so how do you do is it that the the first dish is cooked first and then the you take out the second one how does it actually happen because as far as the combi oven is concerned when you are putting it in a steaming steaming mode it is giving same amount of steam to all the six trays uh, let me answer this a uh, little bit uh, yes. actually when it comes to a combi oven you need to understand a factor that 
it is a very very highly efficient and high end designed machine okay. a very good combi will have 60 to 80 sensors within the machine itself within the chamber itself okay and okay. it will have multiple vents inside and multiple nozzles of steam inside in different levels and okay. there are so many elements involved so literally okay. it can even vent out a particular uh, zone of steam out and it can vent in a special uh, chamber within okay. the chamber itself it can bifurcate itself to an extent to only to an extent uh, okay. i'm not saying we can cook idli in the bottom and uh, we can do uh, tandoori chicken on top to an extent it does yes but not in that versatility okay okay thank you uh, yeah uh, good evening to the panel uh, i am a south indian cook so i i wanted to know uh, we have spoken about biryanis we have spoken about uh, tandoor roasts and all those things uh, certain dishes in south indian cuisine as well as north indian cuisine uh, involves prolonged cooking like a buna chicken we roast the you know we roast the spices and uh, onion tomato and uh, all those things for a very long time uh, dry without adding any uh, moisture into it any water into it can dishes like uh, this a very dry preparation be prepared on a combi oven is it possible to make such dishes and one more question is uh, can dishes which involve prolonged boiling uh, some gravies have to be boiled for several hours in order to get that flavor can such dishes also be prepared because i don't understand how the whole boiling process or the cooking process happens for gravies or dry dishes inside the oven it's a, it's a wonderful question subhash ji and i believe like uh, prolonged cooking is easily possible in the combi ovens that is one and when it comes to uh, dry cooking and wet cooking so boiling and stewing is a very standard feature in the combi ovens you can stew or uh boil for maybe many number of hours at the given temperature what you feel like so if you want like a kind of a poaching kind of a thing or maybe uh boiling so dal makhani can easily be made in a combi oven but when it comes to dry cooking i think chef ame would agree with me so not everything can be done in a oven you need to do certain things part of it could be done outside the oven and then you can finish it off in the oven to get the right taste texture absolutely absolutely and and i would also like to add like combi oven is all about improvisation combi ovens have developed over a period of time literally they are trying to do every possible product just to ease the work uh, load and lot of other elements so when as you say it's a very debatable topic whether when it comes to tradition on the technique obviously when some products if it has to be made in combi it can be made in combi but if you asking if you're asking like whether it is traditionally right or wrong maybe we can't answer that question <laughs> yeah and just to add to what chef bala said i think one thing which a lot of entrepreneurs or chefs miss in in the in the due course of time is the amount of time you need to spend on your trials and r and d uh you know a okay. lot of times if we feel that you know we just buy a combi and replicate something which is very traditional in first second or third run it might not happen my personal experience it took us almost a year and half to perfect the hyderabadi dum biryani converting into a combi oven we had endless trials maybe 1000 trials during the course of time but once you do that it changes your life so you have to put thorough time in the r and d and trials and like chef vinod sir and chef bala said there are certain things which you definitely cannot do in a combi like someone just asked we cannot do deep frying obviously you cannot do deep frying in a combi because that is a very specific cooking method but you can do something half finishing of the product outside of combi and then the final finishing can be done in the machine but for example uh, like mr ravi asked what about when you cook different products when you say cooking different types of kebabs if you have a six tray machine you can cook not six but you can cook, cook 12 different types of kebabs in the machine and have separate program for every kebab it will cook at a different time and that's the advantage so a thorough time has to be given on trial and r and d otherwise you will lose the confidence so i think that is very important that you spend time with the machine understand how it works yeah, absolutely chef ame i think uh, you just nailed down the thing so buying a combi machine is one part of it 
and learning how to use it is another part of it which take much longer time to understand the equipment and then how to optimize the usage of the machine as per your cuisine for example you know uh, there have been times where in traditional cooking you put things overnight to just keep them warm or just keep them cooking and you need to monitor in combi once you just set the program go home and you know if suppose for example you want to get something hot cooked ready at 6 o'clock you put something already in the oven set the timer 4 o'clock the oven starts you come at 6 o'clock the product is ready so all that the oven allows you to do the more time you spend with the oven it is like exploring our laptops and phones the more amount of time you spend with your phone and laptop the more you discover the features yes yes i think uh, it's a versatile machine that is uh, that goes without saying and how to apply it. and uh, that also makes a difference in then how we use the capabilities of the oven and especially as i mentioned earlier also and uh, chef vikram pointed on the presentation that what all cooking could be done it could be steaming grilling broiling stewing steaming long term cooking slow cooking even hot holding so it's the method that could be implemented from traditional to a combi oven it's not we are not talking about a product we are talking about the process exactly and in the last 2 3 decades the process have been changed it's not the product so maybe a uh, chicken tikka of punjab and maybe a roast chicken of tamil nadu so both are having a same process in cooking but the product would be totally different so uh, it's uh, we need to focus on the capabilities of the machine and the processes chef wala what do you think about uh, this yeah that's so true here we are not talking about or debating a topic like a traditionally made uh, food versus a combi made food we need to see a combi in multiple other dimension in terms of efficiency time manpower and the speed uh, you know lot of other elements like uh, chef ame said uh, versatility controlling from a different feature when it comes to volumetric cooking multiple branches of restaurant we cannot sometime totally rely on traditional methods and it would be it would be possible but it will be very very challenging but uh, when we want to finish some uh, uh, work faster and smarter with more efficiency i think we should rely on combi uh, chef thank you and uh, we have uh, mr mohammad ali here uh, uh, who wants to say something and uh, we congratulate uh, mr mohammad ali for the new brand shaibs which is rocking chennai at the moment so over to you uh, ali sir good evening esteemed chefs and uh, friends from the industry and fellow entrepreneurs uh, my name is uh, mohammad ali i'm from chennai i've been in the food business for quite some time uh, one point uh, since we are all uh, trying to uh, promote uh, the much more easier uh, acceptance of uh, combi ovens in today's uh, cooking and technology um, i'd like to share a little bit of a few experience that i have with the combi so uh, we've been in the food business since 99 and we started using combi here in india probably sometime around 2003 2004 we have been using so close to 16 years we have been using combi oven and i can proudly say that i have been one of the few uh, uh, people who have been uh, blessed to work with an opportunity across multiple sectors and multiple formats so we use combi oven in our manufacturing facility we have used the combi oven in our uh, fmb retail uh, service uh, business we have used the combi oven even in our uh, culinary training academy so we have a baking and pastry training academy which we have a regular deck oven we have a combi oven we have a, a traditional stone based oven and multiple other formats of oven so um, uh, long things said short uh, like you guys have already have mentioned uh, so much in detail and you know went in terms of a great uh, uh, length and explaining to many of us and uh, reminding us of what are the things that we can do with the combi uh, it is truly a remarkable uh, difference today the machines which we have which i'm using right now are probably around 14 years old uh, from germany of course and uh, uh, the product and the, and it is basically a workhorse it works non stop and gives you uh, unimaginable uh, uh, unimaginable uh, uh, unimaginable uh, results and the consistency is just mind blowing so with that being said uh, with the consistency also the product i mean it, it, you, you you name it today if you have a very uh, good chef with you and the experience of uh, you know using a good combi oven any any cuisine and any format can be uh, you know used used with it 
today we are running a, a multiple brand uh, cloud kitchen and out of them one of them is a biryani and almighty willing because of this we have been able to develop some lot of other proprietary technology along with the uh, with the support of the combi oven which is helping us to deliver food across to uh, people uh, which helps us to remain the food hot for more than 4 hours and this is only possible with the support of combi oven because today in the delivery format the food uh, reaching the end consumer at a very hot stage it is it is a fair bit of challenge and most of the time uh, you know the uh, customer gets to experience only a little bit of a cold food which is not a very pleasant experience today so with this uh, technology and lot of other innovation which we have done um it 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 is it is it is just helping us reinvent because from what i understand the combi oven has been around since the uh, mid 80s uh, or so to say or 80 86 87 i think that that is the time that they're there and till now what they have actually achieved i think they actually have a clone of a a, a full blown chef inside the combi oven uh, mm-hmm. if you can maybe permit to say of course the human skills and values and all they add a complete different uh, depth but whatever you need to do in any format or any cuisine the combi oven actually helps it so we have experienced the support in manufacturing we have experienced the power of it in our food service business and even in our training today the chefs young chefs who are getting trained they it, the outcome for certain kind of a baked products is much better in a combi oven as compared to any other oven of course a traditional stone oven have their own uh, what do you call uh, romanticized uh, you know uh, appeal towards you know baking being baked in a stone based oven and what not but everything has been able to replicate like someone is asking about the smoky flavor right they have smoke shoots available in the combi oven with the chefs and all be much better informed for you to infuse the tandoor flavor or the smoke flavor or whatever so the kind of a control and versatility that this machine offers um i think you guys need to uh, explore more about it and embrace it uh, wholeheartedly and the chef community have started doing that i think entrepreneurs and young other uh, people who are getting into the food business also should see this with a very open view i believe that in, in uh, specifically in a country like india we have so much of talent so much of creativity this uh, this uh, this this is be a simply a uh, an amazing tool for us to take it to the next uh, to the next level thank you so much for the opportunity and thanks for the information that you guys have shared really really inspiring thank you chefs and thank you fellow members thank you thank mr you. ali i think uh, yeah even i would like to say thank you to mr ali for you know being an entrepreneur uh, saying these things will inspire a lot of other entrepreneurs to do so thank you and uh, so having listened uh, one of the business owners and his views on the this super machine so i believe the chefs of today are much smarter and uh, much capable enough of creating and innovating new dishes new methods of doing things and adapting the new changes so earlier it was like more of a hard work uh, in the kitchens uh, spending many hours so now at least there is some respite for the chefs in terms of the half of half part of the cooking so chefs can spend more time into creating and innovating and developing new dishes and uh, having more informed about the product and even help uh, to build a better planet and uh, bring some positivity into the people by offering a good sustainable method of cooking saving the planet in different forms and uh, uh, having a much cleaner product uh, the final product that comes out from the oven or the way it is cooked so i think it's one of a good equipment and at the same time giving chef some more time to innovate and create i wish if we would have all been in one platform and tried some good dishes from the combi ovens in one platform and then enjoyed those dishes and then we would have seen the difference of the traditional and the modern way of doing the same thing so uh, so nice of you uh, chef vikram so i would like you to take a few words after hearing all of us and uh, i would like you to conclude this uh, session with your final words and the outcome of this session and uh, what would be the uh, take from this uh, wonderful session of uh, combi ovens and the versatility of uh, ovens in the indian cuisine great so this is uh, much like much like uh, uh, you know i had this discussion very recently with a a friend of mine he's a senior oncologist uh, here in bangalore and um, you know he said hey i'm going for training sessions so i said what training sessions you're a senior oncologist and you're going for training sessions well he says no you know i'm i'm going for i'm going to philips for a uh, for training sessions on robotic surgery in, in oncology so the same way i think 
however senior we are however junior we are or wherever we are adapting ourselves is very very critical to the current situation we call it you know in terms of technology we call it frog leap technology and in terms of uh, adaptation we need to adapt very quickly and easily to various situations um, you know in in our field in our uh, space of work so therefore i would say you know the versatility of the machine is one part of it but i think our attitude is the other part of it so we rather have a positive attitude that helps us to actually work with all these machines and adapt to technology because technology is going to be our future and will always be and as against trying to say hey no you know i mean this is traditional i will continue to do this because charcoal still gives me the best flavor because uh, traditional methodologies give me the best outcome so so that really is uh, uh, you know the um, uh, uh, the take that i have on all of this uh, thank you what sir, you Vishra. feel is best at the end of the day thank you very much chef anod bhat yeah hi everyone this is haider adil uh, i'm from uh, tier 3 city gulbarga karnataka and uh, was wondering uh, uh will it be uh, quite a tough thing for me to uh, start with a combi oven because uh, we've been into baking since last 10 years and uh, it's uh, quite a new thing for us and uh, i was wondering is will it be uh, uh, an easy thing to uh, implement in my kind of business like we are into uh, bakery business and it's been a decade and whenever we talk about uh, the bakery you know see basically i'm a pastry chef you know i do a lot of bakery stuff oh, hi, okay see whenever we talk about baking in combi oven see you can see lot of uh, humidity which can be inserted or which can be passed to your product for example if you are making a sponge cake in a convection oven or maybe in a rotary oven you know that you will be finding a thick layer of sponge which is burnt or more crust or and similarly at the exactly. base you will find the crust where in combi oven you won't be able to find that uh-huh. and the time consumption for uh, vanilla sponge if you are making a 1 kg ring it takes 35 uh-huh. minutes but whereas in combi oven it takes 22 minutes and like that i can keep on telling for example if you are bake the puff for 45 minutes here you will be taking a 28 minutes where you will be same thing with personal in it for example if a person is working for 9 hours if the in deck oven if his productivity is like 900 uh, 1000 puffs in a day where in combi oven you will be able to make not less than 1400 numbers mm-hmm. not less than 1400 but and you can you can see it's all programmed for ex- if as a owner if we, if the chef is doing or you are doing only the taste of the filling will be the same you won't mm-hmm. be able to see the coloration of the puffs in two different colors mm-hmm. unless and until the recipes are same every day you will be getting the consistency of product my dear i interrupt you uh, yeah. uh uh will it be uh, feasible for a, a baker like me who does uh, um, you know we work in a centralized kitchen concept where we have got uh, separate retail outlets and uh, we've got uh, some 10 numbers of retail outlets and we've got a separate uh, area in which we've uh, uh, we have set up a centralized kitchen will it be uh, feasible for us to do the things in a, a larger uh, scale Yes, yes, uh, yeah, yes, Mr. Raider. Yeah, you can do it. Because see, you have different variant of combi oven. You'll be having like six trays, ten trays, a uh, floor mm-hmm. model twenty and floor model forty racks. So mm-hmm. it's all depends upon the capacity of what you require. In other, so there mm-hmm. is a as you said about the centralized combi oven. Uh, there is a central location in Kerala where mm-hmm. they distribute for forty outlets. Oh, great! They, they work with combi oven from uh, the wood fire oven. Straight away they are into combi oven. Wood oh, fire oven. Great. Combi oven. You just imagine that. <laughs> Drastic. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So whenever the customer, uh, uh, the regular customer coming to the outlet, after changing with the combi oven, they say, "I can uh, see some lightness in your product." See, mm-hmm. for example, if I'm eating a puff, uh, uh, one number of puff, where whenever you are baking the puff in a combi oven, your product will be very lighter. You know that. So mm-hmm. you, you feel like you're eating one more. so you so uh, chef mahesh i think you are encouraging heather uh, to uh, increase the efficiency the productivity and also the taste profile of the product will increase so yes. uh, as uh, chef vikram said i think heather ji you have to 
take some more information and the training on different ovens that are available uh, for you and then choose the exactly. best one for your operations. Okay. Uh, Chef, not only about that, see, for example, whenever we talk about bakery, we will be having only a deck oven or the rotary oven. You know that for boiling, you should be, uh, look for some other equipment, you know that for employee staff meal. Same mm -hmm. compound bed can be used for it for boiling mm -hmm. your vegetable, boiling your eggs, for the puffs. This can be used. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that solves a purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so with this uh, wonderful session and wonderful discussion and debate on uh, on the opportunities and challenges having a combi oven and what are the benefits in terms of sustainability, cost efficiency and uh, hygiene, food safety, operational cost, space constraint. So we touched multiple topics revolving around a food operation having a combi oven and what are the benefits out of it. So having said that, I would like to uh, thank Mr. Brijesh Edward for organizing such a wonderful session with such knowledgeable chefs around and uh, Mr. Prabhu uh, helping us and connecting the dots in uh, southern part of India. And I think this information would be valid for a student or a new entrepreneur or a young business person or a existing established business owner who can upgrade the equipment depending on the type of food they are making and how to make best use of combi ovens. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, chefs. Uh, Chef Mahesh, thank you very much. Uh, Chef Ahmed, thank you very much. Uh, Chef Vikram, Chef Bala, all of you have given wonderful insights. And I think uh, our viewers, thank you very much to all of them for being with us for the last one year and listening to the various uh, nuances on the combi ovens. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, Mr. Brijesh, Mr. Prabhu and everybody, uh, those who are present on the session.